All right, this is my whoosh net setup. It is a bungee powered net that is 14 feet by 14 feet. The net is polypropylene and I've reinforced the leading and trailing edge. Now the uh, wider band there is the trailing edge and it is anchored with pins to the to the ground and then I have a release mechanism that's made out of gate latches and you can see the trigger cord which goes around the stake back to the center where I have the uh, bird feeder and the same thing happens on the other side now what powers it is I have a ring here that that locks into the gate latch attached to the ring with this small carabiner is the leading edge of the net off of that ring is to a bungee cord and that bunt now when that when that releases this ring will ride up this rod which basically lifts the net over the baited area otherwise it would just slide across the ground and cut the birds off at the knees this way it flies up over them once it clears the end of the stick it drops down to the ground now, at this end, I've got a steel T-handle and a pulley system. And then the bungee travels back to an anchor on another T-pin. There's one of these on each side. And you can see how to get an even pull. This is off of, uh, this is both the triggers tied to a center knot to a single trigger cord, which leads back inside the back door where I can watch and fire it without the birds seeing me. The, uh, the release welded steel tube and I've got these uh, T-handles that uh, pin it into place and they're about uh, 16 inches long down into the ground. Very simple. Didn't take much money to make. The net was only like $9 at Lowe's. And uh, gate latches, each gate latch here was, uh, I think, $3 or something like that. It was, I mean, it's just bits and pieces. Your, uh, some cord, you know, it's, I think it's about, maybe about 50 bucks worth of materials. And uh, it's capable of catching large quantities of birds in one shot. And if you're contemplating raising or imprinting a, uh, an exhibitor, this will flat fill your freezer. You're not going to run out of, out of uh, food for your bird. Uh, and then, of course, once it's up and hunting, you can still use it to help uh, over the dry spots. So we'll give it a shot here in a little bit. Um, for bait, I use regular old bird seed and then uh, Cheetos because grackles and starlings cannot help but eat Cheetos and the sparrows come in on the bird seed and I keep a bird feeder above it and this draws their attention in. So we'll give it a shot here in a minute and see what happens.